Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jeremy from QuickMail. And this is Jack from Emails That Sell. Uh, today is episode nine. Um, and before we start, if you're already using QuickMail to send uh, your cold email, this cast is probably not for you, and uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, today, we're going to talk about why it's a bad idea to use marketing automation software for cold email. So if you're wondering what marketing automation software is or what the difference between that and sales automation software, uh, they're easy to confuse. And before we go in and define exactly what those terms mean, one of the reasons we're doing this cast today happens to do with a phone call I was just on with yet another bright business owner who was using Infusionsoft or MailChimp to send their cold emails. Uh, so we knew to address this because it's a mistake that could be harming your reply rate, even if you have an amazing list and you're sending great cold emails. Yeah, and just to be clear on this, this is not an isolated case. I had the same one with MailChimp, GetDrip, uh, and so forth. So how about we start by defining the difference between marketing automation and sales automations, Jack? Sure. Marketing automation is used to send marketing emails to your audience. Sales automation is used to start one-on-one conversations. They're both important, and you probably need both for your business, but they're not interchangeable. So You can't use marketing automation for cold email. In fact, I own a sales automation software, but when I need to send a newsletter, I use GetDrip instead of my own software. Can you give us some names of uh, really popular marketing automation software so we know what tools we are referring to here? Some popular marketing automation software out there is MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, Autopilot, Infusionsoft, Marketo, Drip, Aweber, GetResponse, Vero, Campaign Monitor. There's a whole bunch. Yeah, so so why is it a bad idea to use? There are so many of them. One must be meeting my needs for cold emails, right? Well, let's take an example. Uh, Let's say you've got an e-commerce shop that sells T-shirts. You wouldn't want to announce your new T-shirt collection with a sales automation tool because you just wouldn't want to have one-on-one conversations with each customer about that shirt you just released, or not likely. Equally, you wouldn't use marketing automation to try and set up a coffee meeting with, uh, let's say, another founder in another city. They're just not designed for people to reply to your emails. What do you mean exactly by that? Well, for one, they're optimized for clicks, opens, or just general engagement, not necessarily replies. Marketing automation is a many-to-one uh, email, just like marketing is more of a presentation where sales is a conversation, if you will. Marketing automation emails also often end up in the promotions tab. SEMrush found that 60% of Gmail users have their promotions tab enabled, which means if most of the folks on your list are using Gmail, which they probably are, that means... If you send with market automation, up to 60% of your list won't get that email in their um, primary inbox. Another reason why they're not uh, optimized to get replies and conversations started is they look automated. There's an emphasis on fancy HTML and images instead of plain text that gets uh, conversations started. So think of market automation as more as a flyer or a brochure. Uh, Two more points here. Market automation metrics won't really set you up for a successful cold email campaign. Most of the time, there's um, poll reporting uh, when you need to find out who's replied to your emails. Just again, because they're not optimized so much for replies as much as engagement. And finally, you have a... uh, a lower probability of inboxing if you send with marketing automation emails, excuse me, software, because marketing automation sends the email from their own servers as opposed to your own email account. With so many automated tools online, how, how can I know it's a sales automation tool and not a marketing automation tool? There's a couple things you need to look for. For it to be a sales automation tool, it must let you send from your own inbox. And this is the most important feature of any sales automation tool out there. Now, if you're not sure about this, send a few emails with the 
uh, software you want to test and then check your send folder in your primary email account um, to check if you sent it from your own email. Next, you must be able to track your replies. And you should also be able to cancel follow-ups based on people who have replied. That's Those are three uh, features that you need to have in a sales automation software. Now, there's a couple should have features that will make life a lot easier if you're sending uh, cold emails. So you should be able to reply to your own emails so that uh, your emails are included in, in your thread as you uh, send multiple touches. You should be able to turn off open and click tracking to increase your deliverability. You should be able to uh, remove your unsubscribe links. And finally, you should be able to customize each email based on prospect attributes. What if I happen to be using a marketing automation uh, software already and, and getting some replies? Uh, should, I, should I bother switching or trying, trying a sales automation tool? Uh, let me tell you a quick story about this. So a client of mine was using MailChimp to send their cold emails when we first spoke. When I asked him how that was going, he said, you know, it's working, nothing crazy, but we're getting leads from it. Now, when they switched to quick mail, cold email suddenly became their number one lead source in two weeks. So in summary, if you're getting leads with marketing automation, pat yourself on the back because the good news is you can expect a much better open rate and a much better reply rate uh, just by switching the tool you use. Hmm. What about uh, email senders like SendGrid, MailGun, Postmark, Mandrill, and so forth? So those are all ESPs or email service providers. They're an interface that lets you send emails at scale. And they're agnostic to what is sent, which means you could use them to send cold emails. In fact, they're going to integrate with most sales automation tools out there, but they won't replace the tools. Um, Things, think of them as uh, complementary, but in short, don't use them if you don't have to. All right, folks. So if you're using marketing automation to send cool emails, do yourself a favor and uh, test uh, sending with a sales automation tool. And uh, watch what happens uh, to your opens and uh, replies. Thanks, Jack. Uh, awesome cast and uh, see you next week. Yeah, great job, Jeremy. See ya. Thank you.